Hi everyone, it's Shilpa here with another video for the Wild Bunch, the YouTube design team for Wild Orchid Crafts. And today I'd like to um, share with you guys a card that I've done for Mother's Day. So here it is. It's so, so adorable. I love the way it looks. I try to keep it pretty simple and um, it's just to give you guys an idea of um, how simply you can actually create a card but it looks totally gorgeous and really really effective so first of all the papers that I've used for this um, the card and the paper the layering is Anna Griffin paper collection and this bit as well and I've also used some dark brown um, cardstock from my stash just um, as a little contrast to the paper so that's how it looks and I'm gonna go through what I've done so it's an A6 card and um, it's just a few matting and layering so I've, what I've done here is just um, inked this layer of paper around the edges to make it pop a bit and then I've added this um, dark brown cardstock on top of it but before I stuck it down I just wrapped some of this beautiful satin ribbon um, around it and then tied a little bow in the same ribbon and put it on top with this beautiful cabochon so that is um, the first bit so I'm going to show you guys the ribbon that I've used it's really really stunning and I've actually got quite a few of these in my collection now in different colours from Wild Orchid Crafts and um, the one that I've used is the half inch gold satin ribbon and you get a whole roll which is a great great price you can check out the price online I'll put the code below and um, for the cabochon in the centre there I've used this mixed bag here and the code for this one is REZ001 and as you can see you get a ton of different colours in this so I love this and um, so that is the bottom bit of the card and for the top here I've just taken some um, white rub on alphas and I rubbed it onto some brown cardstock and just made some tiny little tiles and topped it on some more of that same um, cardstock here and again I've just gone round the edges in um, some brown ink just to make that one pop as well so I like the print on it so I didn't want to cover much of this but um, I thought I'd just do a little cluster here on the corner so um, for this one I've used these tiny little rosebuds and these are the deep ivory closed rosebuds here and then I've used this one and uh, which is I've got the pack in front of me here is from this pack which is the um, white and pink center wild roses 30 millimeter ones and the code is PM-00124 and with this one I've taken that same brown ink I've just dabbed it all the way around just to um, give it a distressed look and then here um, are the what do you call it now the um, Cosmo Daisy in the brown shade and it's from the mix pack and I absolutely love these I'm so glad I actually chose something different in my design team package and I ordered a few packs of these in different colorways and um, I'm, it's just a shame I've not gotten before so I'm loving using these and I've been using them on quite a few projects which I'll be sharing with you and then underneath all these beautiful uh, flowers I've taken some of these um, stunning leaves from this pack here and this is the 50 mix two-tone green and yellow leaves set A and the code is there double L dash treble zero two three and as you can see there's really nice selection of leaves in here so I've used two kinds one is this large green one and there's one here and here with the hint of like a burgundy or like a purple colour going around on the edge and I've also included a tiny little rose there which is from this pack here which I missed out which is the 50 taupe mulberry paper roses 15 millimeter ones FM-00142 and I really really like these and I love that size as well so that is my little cluster of flowers and um, that is my card and on the inside I've just got some paper just as an insert just to finish it off and that is it so really really beautiful simple card to do but it looks so so classy and really really stunning so I hope you like my Mother's Day card and why not give it a go yourself um, I'll see you again very soon with another project please leave me a comment to let me know what you think and also check out the links below and the codes for the items I've used here will be below as well so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye